Good morning, good morning, everyone, and praise the Lord for this day. Well, I got a word to share with you this morning here. Um, as I was praying, I just asked God to really speak to me about what some of you need to hear, and I just felt the word doubt just kept coming up to mind, and some of you are really doubting with your circumstances, what you're dealing with, and, and doubt is just really consuming your, your, your thought process and your emotions right now. And, and this word, I think, is going to really speak to you, and it's a very familiar story. We all remember it. I'm quite sure it comes out of um, Luke 38. Um, in it, we're talking about here that Jesus had risen from the dead, and the disciples saw him for the first time, and they were filled with, they were frightened and filled with doubt. And, and, and the verse actually reads that, Jesus says, why are you frightened? He asks, why are your hearts filled with doubt? Um, you know, in this situation, we see dark and uncertain days when hope itself seemed extinguished. They were filled with sadness, disappointment, and heartache. So much so that one of the disciples summed up their situation with the words, we had hoped he, Jesus, was the Messiah. They had heard Jesus say that he would rise again. There was the witness of the woman who went to the tomb of Jesus. There was evidence of the empty tomb, but it was not enough to convince them that he was indeed the Messiah, that he indeed had risen from the dead as he said he would. It was too much of a leap of faith from, for them at that time. These same men are the ones who seem all the mighty miracles that Jesus performed and, and confessed him as their Lord. Now they were filled with doubt, ready to give up on all that they had once believed in. Even when Jesus stood among them and asked them to touch his body, they were frightened and filled with doubt. My friends, doubt is a terrible thing. It causes us to question that which we believe in. It takes our eyes off God and our focus on our situation and our circumstances. It causes us to be afraid and uncertain about the hope we have in Jesus. I guess there are times when the evidence of the empty tomb is not enough, even for us, when the promise of God's word seems beyond our grasp, when the witness of others cannot turn the tide. When times like this come up, and my, and my friends, they surely will. Maybe that's where you are right now. I want to encourage you. The only thing left to do is get alone with Jesus. Allow his presence to remove the doubt, the fear, the uncertainty. Take that time to get alone with him. Take the time to hear again his words to you that are recorded in this word. Allow his words to fill your heart and your mind. When you're with Jesus, our hearts will burn within us and doubt and fear will flee. When we're with him, like the disciples who were gathered in that room when Jesus came, our hearts will be filled with great joy and wonder, even though we may not understand all that is going on. And because he lives, we also shall live. Yes, trouble and trials will, be, will come against us, circumstances and situations may confuse us but he lives he is with us always as followers and with this assurance Jesus can be trusted and that he rose from the dead should be enough to cast out any doubt we have and give us peace and strength day by day well guys just a quick word I just real feel, feel strongly in my spirit that some of you are in that same situation that have a lot of doubt right now. I hope this word speaks to your heart. If it does, please share this video. I hope you have an awesome day. Know that I love you guys, and I'm praying for you.